Hi guys, um, I've got my Club Sport V 2.5 uh, wheelbase here. It's intermittently playing up where the um, I use it on Xbox mode but it periodically just changes to PC mode and um, I lose all force feedback in the game so I have to quit the game and restart it so I've just pulled the back cover off just to see if I can see anything visible. I can't really see anything too obvious. The only thing not sure if you guys are going to be able to pick it up but there's a lot of um, fingerprints and just generally looks fairly dirty on um, both of these circuit boards so the main one and the one for the motor so I've got this magnifying glass here but I'm not sure if that's going to make it any easier for you guys to see or not I've got this contact cleaner here that I'm going to use and a bit of clean rag just see if I can clean that off and see if that does anything the only other thing was there's like little strands of um, hot glue that they've used and it basically just looks like a, a thin hair um, I'm not really sure I don't think that should cause any trouble because it's not really going to conduct electricity so Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and used the contact cleaner and gave it a, well tried to give it a clean up but it didn't really um, clean it up as I hoped, it didn't really do much. Just if you're doing this yourself, just be aware there's these six pins here that sort of stick up and uh, I'm assuming they're sort of just a diagnostic plug for back at the factory because um, I don't plug into anything. It's really only the back cover that sits on over the top of that, so um, the only other thing I can notice is this little ribbon cable here has been kinked. Not sure if you guys can see there, but so whether or not that's got something to do with my issues or not, I'm not sure. Um, if you pull yours apart let me know, let me know if yours is the same or, or different. I'm just going to put the cover back on and see if I notice anything different, whether it still does it or not. So this um, plexiglass cover on top just slides, slides back into place. You can see the grooves there where it sort of seats into both, both halves and your cover basically just goes on top so your two screws actually go down through the circuit board here and the circuit board it's only got these uh, plastic the white plastic spaces that you can see there so um so when you put this back on don't over tension especially don't over tension these ones these ones down here where they screw into this uh, bracket here you can tighten them up a little bit more but they don't actually need to be that tight just as tight as you can get um, with the leverage of that small end there so tighten them up using that yeah you shouldn't really need much tension at all and just the other point of note when you're putting this cover back on obviously make sure you do your plugs back up that you've disconnected and um, Make sure you don't pinch any cables, especially this, the white ribbon cable that's located over on this fan side. And once again, you just got the two screws up here and two down the bottom here. These are 2mm hex and these are 2.5. The other thing to be aware of too prior to putting this cover on is when you, so if you've had your circuit board undone like I did, um, Basically I pulled it off just to have a look at it, but um, yeah I didn't see anything so I probably wouldn't recommend even pulling that off unless you need to. But if you do take it off, um, make sure that when you in, like tighten up the two bottom screws that these top holes still line up. And obviously when you come to putting your cover on you don't want to be forcing the um, screw down in there because uh, you potentially break your circuit board so just be aware of that make sure they're lined up 
before you um, get ready to put this on. So some of the things I tried as well was um, I tensioned these, uh, so the five um, screws up there, tensioned them up a bit, and also this um, single um, hex here that holds the socket for your wheel connections. I just tightened that up a little bit and it seemed to work for a while but um, yeah obviously that wasn't the problem because it was still sort of playing up. The other thing I did try also was I removed this rubber o-ring just because um, with it sort of sitting where it does I thought oh, maybe it's stopping the connection like the thickness of that you know a couple of mil it's bringing the connect pins further out so I thought there was a potential for um, contact to be lost there but once again it seemed to work for a while but I still kept having the same problem so I ended up putting that back on. 